Hello everyone, welcome to the 13th video on Snow Pro Core Certification Series. This is one of the shortest video in this series. In this video, we are going to look about account usage and information schema within Snowflake. Account usage and information schema are the schemas which contains the metadata related information within the Snowflake. Let us see how it looks like. Before going into the account usage and information schema, we need to understand about the Snowflake data database uh, please be very aware it's a snowflake database meaning what the snowflake database is the database which is named as snowflake which will be created within your snowflake account so snowflake database provides a system defined read only shared database named snowflake that contains the metadata and historical usage of data about the objects in your organization and accounts as simple as it is so this is how it looks like when you look into this snowflake console it is having a snowflake database within the snowflake database we will be having some set of schemas which are available the first one is the account usage schema this contains the views that display the object metadata and usage metrics of your account the second one is the alert schema which has the functions that are intended for use in the alert objects third one is the core schema which contains the views and other objects to support select snowflake features such as system tags Fourth one is the data privacy. Currently, the schema contains the customer classification. Sorry, the custom classification class. And then the data sharing usage, which contains the views that display the object metadata and usage metrics related to listings. Listings is all about Snowflake data marketplace. That is the place where we can do data consumption and also we can provide the data. We saw this to a greater extent in our previous videos as well. The next one is the information schema. Please be aware, the information schema is automatically created in all databases. In Snowflake database, that doesn't serve a purpose. This is very important. Only in the Snowflake DB doesn't serve a purpose, but it is having a greater purpose when it comes to the other databases. From the Snowflake database perspective, it doesn't serve a purpose, but it is the one which is automatically created inside each and every database within the Snowflake. Moving on to local, which is currently the scheme contains only one view which is the data quality monitoring results and then the organization usage this contains the views that display the historical usage of data across all the accounts in your organization reader account usage which is again similar to the account usage schema but only contains the views that are relevant to the reader accounts the reader accounts is all about consumers readers and all that we are going to see in more detail on the data sharing video and then the final one is the ML schema which contains the ML functions, a suit of analytics tools that are built by Snowflake. For this video, we are going to look about the account usage schema and information schema alone. That is very important from the exam point of view. Here we are going to see about account usage as we already saw account usage is part of the snowflake database what are all the contents which are going to be present as the part of the account usage schema account usage schema contains the views that display the object metadata and usage metrics of your account this is very very important you can see object metadata and usage metrics both of them are very vast in nature in general these views mirror the corresponding views and table functions in snowflakes information schema but with the following differences anyway we are going to see in greater detail about what are all the differences between account usage and information schema in the subsequent things but this is similar more or less similar to the information schema but how it is different it records the dropped objects included in each view so if you want to see the dropped objects that is available only in account usage longer retention time for historical data usage and then the data latency is also available for account usage due to the process of extracting the data from snowflakes internal metadata store the account usage views has some natural latency so what is the latency time for most of the views the latency is two hours which is close to 120 minutes for remaining views the latency varies between 45 minutes to three hours so there is a very very longer latency is available there if you want to query the data from the account usage schema you need to be aware of that certain account usage views provide the historical usage metrics the retention period for those views are close to around one year which is 365 days right 
now we are seeing some of the examples there are a lot of examples which are available as usual i am going to attach the description in the description of this video i am going to attach the link for the account usage documentation where you can go through all the examples which are mentioned for the simple usage i just took the warehouse credit usage example from the snowflake documentation so as usual we are setting the role as account admin and then we are setting the schema as snowflake dot account usage then if you want to know credits used to over time by each warehouse in your account we can fire a query something like this this query is all about querying the data from warehouse metering history view this warehouse metering history view contains the credits which are used by specific computer meaning the compute warehouse virtual warehouse is the compute which we are using in snowflake so we can see warehouse name sum of credits used as total credits from the warehouse metering history where start time is greater than date of trunk which is simple as simple as it is month to two date it is what we are trying to see is starting of the month till date what is the amount of credits which is consumed by each warehouse within your account that is what we are doing here using this specific query and similarly if you want to see each warehouse in your account from month to d date over the period of time again now we are trying to do some sort of the dot notation this is all about semi structured data which we are going to see in a later point in time here similar query same similar query which we are executing against the warehouse metering history table so this is how we can utilize the account usage schema so lot of user available so this is the only one use case but you can see lot of things using the account usage schema in the snowflake now we are going to discuss about the information schema within the snowflake the information schema aka data dictionary consists of set of system defined views and table functions that provide extensive metadata information about the objects created within your account this is more or less similar to the account usage which we saw earlier the information schema is implemented as a schema named information schema that snowflake automatically creates in every database in your account this is one important thing to know when it comes to the account usage it is created as the part of the snowflake database alone but the information schema will be created within each and every database within the snowflake so what are all the information which are available it contains the views for all the objects contained in the database as well as the views for account level objects such as the non database objects like roles warehouses and databases the table functions for historical usage across your account is also available each information schema is a read only schema meaning what you cannot modify or drop or do anything with the information schema. schema queries on information schema does not guarantee consistency with respect to concurrent ddls meaning what say if i am firing a query against the information schema at the same time i am creating some table or a view against the snowflake there is no guarantee that the query will return me the exact current output there are chances that it may return it may not return that is the reason why they are mentioning there is no guarantee the output of a view or a table function depends on the privileges granted to the users current role when querying the information schema view or a table function only objects for which the current role has been granted access privileges are returned meaning what information schema even though it contains all the information the output of your query is completely dependent on the privileges which are granted to the users current role that is very important thing to know so some usages here on the test db so So I am just uh, using the schema as test DB information schema, meaning whatever the information which are available within the test DB is available within this information schema. Select table name, comma count from tables where table schema equal to public. This will return me list of all the table names and the comments for those table names under the schema public within this test DB. As simple as it is, tables is the specific view from the information schema. which holds all the information about the tables so there are lots and lots of views which are available anyway as usual i am going to add the link to the snowflake documentation in the description of the video again this is another query which we are dealing with the login history within the information scheme 
now we are going to discuss about differences between account usage and information schema within the snowflake this is very very important from the exam point of view we need to understand in which use cases we can use account usage and which use cases we can use information schema so this is the diagram which i got again from the snowflake documentation which is very very helpful for us our understanding so when we are dealing with the dropped object if you want to see the dropped objects then account usage will be the proper way to utilize that information schema don't hold any of the information about the dropped objects when it comes to the latency of data we can see very good latency which is 45 minutes to 3 hours when it comes to account usage but for information schema there is no latency which is available so if you want to look into the information as quick as possible then we need to utilize the information schema alone account usage is not the proper one for that use case retention of historical data account usage will be retaining the data for one year but for the information schema it will be from 7 days to 6 months where is based on the table and view meaning what for different different views and tables the retention period varies everything will be available as the part of the snowflake documentation with this we came to end of this video i hope this video has been informative for you please do write lot of comments that will be very very helpful for me to enhance the course contents thank you very much for watching this video